evening, ladies as well as gentlemen. Papa Boris here, playing some more Pathfinder Adventures. It's time to play Foul Misgivings, the most infamous scenario of Adventure Deck 2 on Heroic Difficulty. This is a really, really hard scenario, but uh, luckily the Heroic version of it doesn't actually make it that much harder. All it does is it makes it so that when you encounter a haunt, you always encounter Aisha Foxglove, as opposed to just almost all of the time. So it's not that big of a change. Um... You're probably going to be encountering her every time anyway, so it's not that big of a deal. Uh, but it is still a very difficult scenario, so um, we're going to have to, you know, rely on Mr. Foxglove pretty heavily. Oh, wow, we got uh, Night Approaches. When you fail to acquire a boon, lose a turn. Okay, that's that's tough. I'm probably going to lose this just because of that. But I will try, and we also have the Academy here, so we might be able to get some good spells. Alright, so we'll put Sioni and Lem in the Academy to maximize our spell picking upage. Um, Constitution or Fortitude, that sounds like a job for Seijin. You know what, fuck it, let's just put Seijin and Valeros there. Let's just have them help each other. And then Kira will take out the Treacherous Cave. She's the only one who can really effectively close that place. Yes, Seijin has a D8 for Wisdom, but it's just not... Not as good as a d12 plus 2, let's put it that way. Or plus 3, I think, at this point. No, it's plus 2. Okay, she has Augury, so she'll come back next time. Um, what's the place with a lot of monsters? Oh, wait, why don't we do the Warrens? Yeah, so let's do the Warrens. It's a little risky. I might end up losing a turn here, but I feel like if I can even put, like, one monster on the bottom of the deck, that would just be so great. Aha! All right, this is actually really nice to know. So the Warrens are not going to be a big problem in this scenario. Because I can have Sage Ann come over here at some point and just take out that haunt. Um, right now, I don't want to encounter that haunt. Because if I do, I'm going to hand wipe after I find Aisha Foxglove. Well, am I really, though? No, I, I, can, I can block most of the damage. Yeah, all right, we're doing it. We're doing it. So we do this. I guess, you know, on normal difficulty, there would be a 50% chance of not having to encounter Aisha Foxglove here. So it is, you know, definitely harder. And oh yeah, I am losing a turn. But that's fine, just to never have to worry about the Warrens. So now... Oh wow, I actually... That's weird, so I actually lose two turns. Hmm, was that really what I wanted to do? Maybe that's not what I wanted to do. You know what? I think I probably messed up. Maybe I should have just kept that as the place I temp close with Sage Ann at the end. Because even if it got shuffled, I would know that... Well, I, I don't know, if the villain... If I encountered the villain earlier and the villain got shuffled in here, that would be bad. But because I saw the henchman on top, I know the villain isn't in there, so I can more comfortably ignore it. I don't know. It's hard to say. Anyway, let's go ahead and do this. Does she have aid here? Ah, she does. Okay, perfect. So because she has aid, Sioni can do a Blessing of Phrasma. So I'm not going to defeat her because uh, I don't have the magic trait on this. But at least I don't take any damage. I just spent some, you know, potentially replenishable resources. Okay, so one location is closed. I, well, it's not closed yet, is it? I do need to actually close it. Anybody got a dexterity blessing for me? Nope, okay. Oh my god, the top blessing is the dexterity blessing, yes. Uh, let me think about this. Do I want to play another blessing? Um, no, I'm going to save my resources. Ooh, that was close. All right, so we closed one location, but it's kind of a wash because I, I did lose two turns. There's um, two monsters that were added to other locations. So, it's, it's, you know, good and bad. He has an augury as well. All right, what I'm going to do then is I'm going to go to... It was the prison? Yes, I'm going to go to the prison and augury because I know there's a monster on top. So, I can I can get at least one turn back. And hopefully one of the top two cards is a, was a monster as well. Alas, it wasn't. But still. Um, Lem's pretty good at closing the prison. If I happen to encounter a henchman here, that's good. Uh, although, again, um, there's a bit of a problem. Shoot, you know what? Do I actually even want to recharge this? I don't want to recharge this. I would rather go to my discard pile so I can use it again. That was a mistake. I should have discarded the spell instead of recharging it. Anyway, um, let's hopefully not find a monster. Oh, God. Okay, well, that's happening. So, uh, now what's going to happen is I need to play some more blessings to not have a hand wipe. Anybody got a charisma blessing? Charisma blessing? Wait, does Lemish 2 work? Yes, I'm going to bury it to add two dice to a check to defeat a monster. Again, I don't have the magic check, so I don't actually defeat her. Um, man, all right. Do I take a nine, Do I take a 10% chance of failing? Anybody got a Blessing of Torag? Damn. I'm going to take a 10% chance of failing here. 
No! Oh, it happened. Okay. All right. Well, um, that'll be the place that I attempt close. In the end, oh, I should just—you know what? I should have just played a blessing. Why? Why did I take that chance? What? What was the point? What did I gain from that? Well, that's what happens when you take chances. So the haunt made the difference. Otherwise, it would have been an auto success. But instead, I had a 10% chance of failure. It actually hit. All right, this is annoying because uh, the shadow needs the magic trait to be killed. I don't happen to have my amulet of mighty fists here, so it's just gonna get shuffled back into the deck, unfortunately. And that's my turn. There's the amulet, so I'm ready for it now. She's got a fight here. Why did I do this? I probably should not have done that when I don't have any weapons. Well, whatever. Blessing of Gorum and Poog together should take care of it. Now my turn is over. So it's a bit of a lame turn there, but what can you do? Okay, so Valeros is in the dungeons. I guess we'll just keep on plumbing the depths. Uh, crap, I'm gonna... Shoot, you know what I should have done? I should have actually played the Blessing of Shellen. That doesn't matter. I guess I have to discard the Blessing anyway. Because this thing with the Wisdom 4, um, it can't. the damage can't be reduced, and you have to discard a Blessing if you have one. All right, Seijin has like a 60... 2.5% chance of success or something. Anyway, uh, the actual combat check shouldn't be too bad. And um, I lost my blessing, so I can't explore again. So how am I doing in this scenario? Well, we finished the first round. It's kind of hard to say. I lost a lot of blessings. One location, the prison, is now stuck open. So I'm going to have to go back and temp close it. And, of course, if I find the villain early before I can spread out, then... um. Th that that place will get shuffled and I'll never know what if the villain got shuffled in there so it's you know it's got some good stuff going on for me here in the scenario and there's also some bad stuff all right we encounter the slashing blade one of the most dreaded barriers but I do have thieves tools and I do get a free explore because it wasn't a spell so I can't complain too much pick up fiery weapon not the greatest card it's just a bonus d4 I'll explore because I have a frost ray I feel pretty safe oh god it's a haunt all right so these haunts are all kind of near the top. They're very enthusiastic in their profession. Clearly they were really born for this. I'm spending a lot of blessings. Um, all right, I have a Sahedrin Medallion here. So I don't feel particularly inclined to spend a whole bunch of cards. Because if I failed, I could still just use the Sahedrin Medallion to block most of the damage. And um, let me think about this. I don't actually want to use the Aurori power, so we'll just... Do a regular old blessing. I could have done the Aurori without making it intelligence, but she's already discarded four cards, so I want to limit how battered and bruised she's getting. Okay, so we've closed several locations here. So this place is the one that's hopeless now. I don't have Alder and Fox Club. This is like the one time he hasn't shown up right away. So going here doesn't really do much for me because I can't close that location. I guess we'll go to the farmhouse. It's a bunch of fighting. I do have a pretty combat-capable hand at the moment, even though Lem is not normally someone who wants to fight a whole lot. All right, I'm going to play Toxic Cloud, take a little bit of a risk here, hoping I encounter a monster with one of these archers. Nope. And archer number two? You, can you find me a monster? Monster maker, monster maker, make me a monster? All right, there we go. Well, I got my wish. So let's discard this. I need to roll an 11 on these dice. It's a stretch. It's a stretch. Anybody got a blessing of the gods? You do, but oh man, you're kind of your hand's kind of low on blessings. Hmm. All right, I'm just gonna wing it. Yeah. Okay. Well, uh, I don't know why I did that. One blessing would probably have saved me. Now I lost my crossbow and a turn. Ah, oh, God. So I've made two bad decisions in this scenario of just choosing not to play a blessing. So because of that, I lost a turn here at the farmhouse with Lem, and I kept the prison open. And now, with my, my crossbow discarded, I can only fight with spells as Lem, which is rough. I got the Pit of Malfashenko, which is good. None of these... I mean, the Ring of Protection is a good item, but uh, I'm not going to take damage on myself and on Valeros for it. Let's get rid of the Troubadour, who does not help me close the location. Aha! The Shadow is back! But now I have Valeros' help and the Amulet of Mighty Fists imparting the magic trait. So it's actually kind of close, but it dies. All right, so we have one-third of my time has, has passed. I've managed to close 
two locations. Should have been three, but it's only two because I suck at this game. It's actually, it's actually not going that well. I mean, it's sort of okay. The locations that... There's a lot of locations that I just have basically made no progress on, and I've spent a lot of blessings. I'm going to now spend a blessing to explore. I have a cure here, so I don't mind using it. Do I really want to use it like this prematurely, though? No. I'm going to just recharge one of my armors. I want to keep the other for Aisha Fox level. Although, wait, I can actually defeat Aisha Fox level because I'm Kira. Kira is the one character in the game who can actually defeat Aisha Fox level. So, yeah, we'll just get rid of our armors. Protect evil. You know what? Crown of Charisma is actually good to keep because that can basically save you from Aisha Foxglove. It can auto succeed at the check. So I'm going to recharge my armor and I'm going to just discard the other one because I, I don't I don't need those armors if I have the Crown of Charisma, which is quite convenient that I just found that, I suppose. Okay, where's she going? I guess to the farmhouse. Lem can help her do stuff and she's got Web and Frostray. Wand of Shield is what comes up. Great. Okay, I'm going to just play the Sabertooth Tiger for exploring. I think I need to hurry up. I'm not actually doing particularly well. We find an ally who doesn't grant extra explorations. Do I dare play a Blessing to explore? I'm running a little low on Blessings in this party, but I think I have to keep on trucking. Wow, she could not find a monster to save her life. So now, of the five remaining cards, a whopping four are monsters. So this is a very combat-heavy location. Can Lem get back Augury? No, I recharged it because I'm bad at this game. All right, do I actually want to stay here? I guess I'll stay here. There's the haunt. So I'm gonna to have to defeat a random monster. Hmm, it's gonna to be tough. I would much rather Sioni have had that happen. Cause Sioni has a Sahedrin medallion. Lem does not. Well, he has a charisma blessing, which I guess is good, but I have to watch it. Lem's deck only has four cards left in it. It's gonna be three pretty soon. And we have a zombie giant, which is not my favorite thing to see. Okay, somebody needs to help him out. And wow, we do not have many blessings left in the party. Well, I'm done making the mistake of not playing enough blessings. We're going to go whole hog here, make sure this place closes. Of course the blessing didn't make any difference. Man, I wish Lem had a cure. He's supposed to. Lost it to a bad bug. Now Lem's almost dead. At least the good news is Elder and Fox level, unless it was the bottom card of his deck, should be there. Yep, there it is. Okay, so I'll be able to get rid of all the haunts pretty soon. Sajan, let's heal up. Man, do I want to go here? Well, there's only a 40% chance of finding a monster, so yeah, let's do it. And the henchman doesn't even involve a fight anyhow. Sajan is, of course, the uh, worst character for um, handling Aisha. Maybe I should have had Valeros pass on one of his armors. That would have been, would have been a smart thing to do. As it is, I think Seijan's looking forward to a hand wipe here. I mean, Lem could spend a blessing to, to what? Save some damage on Seijan? No, Seijan's just going to hope he rolls high. He didn't roll high enough, so he hand wipes. Um, and then we need to spend the blessing on the fortitude check that this guy's making. Not to stop the damage from Aisha Foxglove. All right. So, this is actually kind of tough. Is this really all we got? I have to roll a 7 on 2d6? Crap, I have a bad feeling about this. Oh my god, that was lucky. Okay, so we made it. Oh, that was good. Um, I really need it to be Lem's turn, but Lem's turn just passed, huh? Okay. Kira's still dicking around. I'm going to save this cure for healing Lem, I think. She is only got three cards in her discard. And I don't need a dagger. Don't need magic leather armor. I need more blessings. All right, Valeros. Well, Valeros is not particularly well suited to closing Foxglove Manor, but he has nowhere else to go. I guess he could go to the Treacherous Cave, but he's even less suited to closing that place. Ouch. All right, well, he's taking a shit ton of damage. Um, he might actually hand wipe here. 2d4... Asking it to hit less than six is asking a lot. All right, I got a little lucky there. So what am I going to do? I'm going to get rid of Shalalu. I'm going to get rid of one of my weapons. Uh, I guess I have to get rid of two weapons. Hey, I'm really lucky I'm only taking three damage. I was fully expecting a hand wipe here. I want to hang on to this Crown of Charisma because that can block Aisha. And all right, so now I know that it's basically safe. The next two explorations are safe, which is useful information to have. Sioni. 
At some point, Sione or Lem, probably Lem, is going to have to go to the prison to, to block it. I'm going to go here with Sione, though, because just in case Kira or Valeros find the villain on their terms, I really just don't want to not win. Guide? All right, that's actually nice. I could get an extra explorer here. So just to be clear, extra explorers don't do that much. The henchman's already gone from this location. But who knows? I might find, you know, a good boon of some sort. The haunts prevent me from getting that mystic inscription. So no spells for me. Hmm, you know, I should have... You know what? She has a guard. I should have used that guard on Valeros' turn to block the damage. Yeah, that would have been smart. All right, start of turn actions. Nope, I'm good. I go to this place. And I'm going to reveal Mr. Foxglove to clear away all the haunts, which is a huge deal. I'm going to play Augury to try to find a monster. Oh my god, I'm such an idiot. I already knew that the two top two were safe. I should have definitely explored those first. And then auguried for the monster. I just completely forgot. So the reshuffle is fine, but it would have been better to get rid of those things that I knew were safe. Fuck. Oh, God. Okay, there's only nine turns left. There's my combat spells. Oh, boy. All right, I guess Kira's just going to be temp closing the treacherous cave. But what if the villain's in there? Hmm. There's a 50-50 chance the villain's in there. I mean, that's a pretty high chance. I'm going to go ahead and help her explore this place. I only have eight turns left. Going to have to, um, I'm going to have to explore pretty hard. You know what? Seijan is, oh man, this is nice that it's the, uh, the, the blessing that defeats barriers. Seijan is kind of like the number one person with a handful of blessings for beating a combat 24 check, just like on the buy. All right, so we get a free extra explore out of this. Let's put the zombie on the bottom. Do I dare play a blessing to explore? Well, do I dare not to? All right, so I don't find the villain. Short sword plus one. All right, I'm very glad I did that because it gets us out of the way. All right, eight turns left. With some heavy exploring, I could make it, but I have spent a lot of my cards, you know, not explore. Uh, sp I've spent a lot of my blessings to, like, not die. All right, Kira's clearly not leaving this place, so I'm just going to have her cure herself just to get the cure out of the hand and give her more of a chance of drawing some blessings for extra explorers. She recharged the cure, that's good. Spear half plate, well, it's just a waste of a turn, basically. But it's good to clear it out, I suppose. And, alright, now I need to block the half plate. There's no more barriers in the cave, so I'm going to get rid of that. And we're just going to keep this. Found one blessing. Alright, one blessing is good these days. Man, that mistake of uh, Lem not exploring before casting Augury, that could really hurt me. Well, let's play the Troubadour. Zombie is what I want to see. I like fighting monsters here. Five turns left. So I basically have to find the skin summon and I have to cobble together enough dice to actually be able to kill him. Um, yeah, I'll use a blessing to explore. I do have to be careful. Valeros's deck is getting low. Very low. Picks up strength. It's actually decent. I'll use that. It'll definitely help out. And I'm going to recharge my armor. And pass the turn. All right, so everybody's got one more turn left. I guess, is Sione the one who's closing the prison? Lem is better at, at dealing with the villain because he can help his ally make the checks. So yeah, she'll be the temp closer. Is there any point for her to explore? There's nothing good to find here. So she just, let's see, I should just discard and try to get blessings. She's only got one blessing in her whole deck. Um, well, it's worth it fish for it. I'll keep the guard, and I'm going to try to remember that she has a guard um, to block damage if needed for somebody. Okay, do I have... I can actually augury again. Yeah, that's definitely worth it. Agility is just totally useless here, so I'm going to get rid of agility, pick up augury. Oh no. Please just stop being stupid, game! Discard! Augury, come on, come on, there we go. So I have a 50% chance of finding the villain here. Lightning Bolt, well that would have been, that would have been nice to actually pick up, that was the next card, so I guess I fail a Lightning Bolt again. And we have a Haunt, um, let me think about this. Whew. So what this means is that 
the villain isn't here. So I know the villain is in the treacherous cave. Do I want to close this place? I don't think it actually makes any sense to close it. Because, honestly, what I'd rather do is just temp close it. Um, he can make an arcane 8 check with uh, the help of a blessing. It'd be better if he and Sione switched places, but that's unfortunately impossible to engineer at this point. <sighs> There's a blessing here. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of um, a card. Let's get rid of Aldern, I guess. I don't need him anymore. Wait, no. No, 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 no. He has a hand size of 6. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, God. Okay, so I don't want to kill him. So we're going to end the turn here. Draw the last card. He's got a hand size of six. Okay, so now we have to find the villain in here. And um, if we find the villain, we actually have a decent shot of winning. Does Seijan want to be the one to find him? Or would, would it be better for Kira to find him? Well, they're probably each going to do one combat check, so it doesn't actually matter. So I might as well just go. Um, Troubadour at this point is totally worthless, so I'll definitely discard it to explore. Oh, yeah! I forgot! Every time you fail to acquire a boon, you lose a turn. I just like I actually just totally forgot that was even a thing in this scenario. Whoops. So Valeros is actually stuck at Foxglove Manor. He's never getting a turn. Luckily, there's no more boons left in this cave. It's just uh, a monster and a henchman. Please be the villain. Or sorry, please. Uh, a monster and a villain. Um. Anyway, let's see. We'll need to kill this gecko. Um, what, what do I have in my deck? Is it is it mostly blessings? Is it mostly blessings? Uh, yeah, it's mostly blessings. All right. I really just don't want to fail this by rolling some, like, one, two, three dumb thing. Okay, so I know the next card is the villain. That that card right there has to be the villain. All right, Seijin gets mostly blessings. Okay, so this is the last turn of the scenario. If I had found one more boon and failed, I would have lost. So, who makes which check? I think Seijan makes the harder check, so Kira should make the easier check. And I have to ration out my blessings to make sure that I can um, close the locations. So, Aldrin Foxlove gets replaced with Stalker Mask, and now the hardest part's really going to be closing it, I think. Let's go ahead and do Sioni first. Um, so, she needs to... Well, actually, this is really good. This Troubadour is great, because that guarantees that she succeeds. Not even taking a 1 in 12 chance. Um, and then here for the Arcane 8 check. Alright, someone's got to play a Blessing. Anybody? She's got one. Seijan. How many Blessings does Seijan realistically need to play to make a Combat 16 check? Would 3 be enough? Rolling 40, 10? Nah, I'll, I should save his Blessings. Alright. Um, I guess Valeros doesn't really need to help Seijan, so he can use a thing on Lem. And if this fails, then we could always have Valeros try it with Lem's help. Okay, so we close the locations. Now she will make the easy check. Holy Light is good because this guy's undead. We'll play a Blessing of Phrasma. So that many D12s plus 4 to hit a 14 should be completely fine. Oh my god, we got it on the last turn. And that wasn't even like me like setting up and preparing carefully for the last turn. That was just a happy coincidence. Good thing Valeros was last in the turn order here. I would have been totally fucked. In fact, can she just make this check? Should she just make this check? Um, yeah, why don't, we, why don't we give some of the fun to say, Jan? Come on. Let's just have him roll a bunch of d10s. 1d10, 2d10s, 3d10s. 40 tens, and there's still blessings out here. Bop. Bop. And, of course, everybody's favorite, bop. There we go. Yeah, that's that's good. We're pretty solid. A lot of ones there. But anyway, we win! Oh, thank God. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe. And I'll see you again soon for some more Pathfinder adventuring action. If you want to stick around for the rewards, what do we get here? A skill feed, I think? We got a power feat in, in the first one. I think we get a skill feat in this one. Yep. All right. So, Sione definitely going to take the charisma. Seijan definitely takes dexterity. And Valeros definitely takes strength. Question is, does Kira or Lem deviate from their spell stats? No, it's just so useful for Kira to be able to close locations that are wisdom-based. And for Lem, gosh, I mean, I could make his crossbow better, but... Once he gets another spell, he's going to have enough combat spells. It's not going to be an issue. Yeah, I'm just going to keep going for Charisma there. Now, did we find anything good in the decks? 
I once again scouted and then never acquired a lightning bolt, which is just heartbreaking on multiple levels. Junk, 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 junk. Oh, Lem lost Aldern Foxglove, because when the skin saw man is encountered, Aldern Foxglove gets banished. I guess we'll use a guide because it's an extra explore. This thing is crap. I don't know why. I'd rather have Aldern Foxglove than this stupid thing, but we'll just get rid of it. Kira. Oh, God. She has a Matic. Seriously? Seriously. All right. So, um, Valeros, I think he has a regular armor, doesn't he? Doesn't he have a non-magic armor? Yep. So now, finally, my two armored people have exclusively magical armors. Let's do view all. I don't think I actually remembered to do view all in the last scenario, or maybe the last two scenarios, so I might have thrown away good stuff. I'm not sure. But we win. And uh, hopefully we can keep the streak going here in the cult exposed. That'll be next time. Take care, everybody. I'll see you then.